Hello. Well, today's Thursday, and just like any other Thursday, it's time for a weigh-in update, or as I usually say, my Weight Watchers weigh-in. Now, before I do that, I only have a few minutes today, uh, so I'm not going to do a real topic like I normally do, uh, but it's my birthday today, so... Uh, I am going to cut this a little short, but I thought since I had some new subscribers, which I have garnered a few new subscribers in the last few weeks, that I would go into a very abbreviated version of my story and why I'm here on Weight Watchers. Uh, the best way that I can come up with it is just starting it off. So this is my story encapsulated. I had been overweight for about 40 years of my life, starting from the time that I was 12 years old. And actually, except for about six years while I was in high school and college, I have always been overweight. Uh, anywhere from about 25 pounds to at one point over 90 pounds overweight. And I had struggled with my weight over and over and over again, doing all kinds of fad diets, uh, diets that weren't always considered fads. But once I got off those diets and began to eat the way that I normally did, I'd gain the weight back plus an extra 10 pounds. Now, that's just a little bit of history. In 2013, I had some severe leg problems uh, to the point to where I was in a boot for three months of the year 2013. Papa, who is my husband, had knee replacement surgery on both of his knees. So we were primed to be able to lose weight. We knew that we had to do something. So starting in the fall, we really began to pray about it, research it, and this continued to be put in front of our eyes, and it was Weight Watchers. Now, I know that Weight Watchers has a very negative thing going around about it right now, but if it were not for Weight Watchers, for one thing, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you, but for another much bigger thing, I would still weigh over 200 pounds. I know that I would. I know it's the main reason that I'm sitting here today at a healthy weight. So I'll get into that in just a minute. So Papa and I decided to join Weight Watchers in January of 2014. I joined January the 9th. He joined January the 13th. I am so happy that I joined on a Thursday instead of a Monday. I had always started a diet on Mondays and by that weekend I would always get off of it. This way I start the weekend off at the first of my week, and I'm able to make up for it those last three days that are not weekend. Anyway, starting January the 9th, 2014, I started Weight Watchers. And by October the 2nd of 2014, I had reached my first initial go weight. Now that was only nine months. I would say that it was hard to do it, but it was not the hardest thing I'd ever done. I'm doing a lot harder work now maintaining than I ever did when I was losing weight. But from January until October the 2nd, I lost 76 pounds. And I, as I weighed in on the 9th of January at 213 pounds, when I weighed on October the 2nd, I weighed 137 pounds. So that was my initial go weight. Papa was not ready to go into maintenance mode. He still had a few more pounds to lose. So I stayed in weight loss mode with him until February of 2015. And by that time, I had lost another 14, 15 pounds, and I was ready to go into maintenance then. I believe I weighed about 123 pounds. And except for about a year and a half when I was going through a health situation, I have stayed under 130 pounds during all that time. Weight Watchers 
it fit my lifestyle perfectly. I was not told that I could not eat certain things. I could always eat anything I wanted to eat, but I had to track it. And that's the important part. You have to track it. And you track it on your phone. I have my phone right here. And on this phone, I have a Weight Watchers app that every time I eat, which I've just got through eating lunch at Panera Bread, uh, I type in whatever I've eaten. I put in Panera Bread and then the soup that I ate, and it tells me how many points. And every day, I get 23 points. And that's what I've been doing for the last nine years, except for just a little time. And that's why I know that I'm sitting here in a healthy weight range. That's my story up to now. I want to tell you what my weigh-in story for this week is. Uh, last Thursday, I weighed in at 123.6. I was very happy with that. I was up two-tenths of a pound from the week before, but two-tenths of a pound is fine with me. Uh, normally, I eat a little more on the weekends, and I did that last weekend. And so when I weighed in on Monday, I weighed 124. 0.6. That was a pound gain. Now, I do weigh two times a week so that I can gauge how I do over the weekend. I always eat a little more on the weekend, so I need to have some kind of way to gauge what I'm going to have to do Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And that's what I did. I had gained one pound. Now, I was a little concerned because sometimes I'll gain up to three pounds, and it's really hard, and I really have to buckle down. Well, when I only gain one pound, sometimes I sort of lay back and don't work as hard. But this week, because I knew of certain situations that were going to happen this week, I tried my best to stay within my point range. You see, like I think I said earlier, but if not, I may have cut this out. Today's my birthday, so I know that I'm going to overeat today. That's okay. You can on Weight Watchers. You can't do it every day, but you definitely can do it occasionally. You can have an occasion to have more points, and that's what I plan on doing today. So I did relatively well Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Not perfect by any means, but I did okay. So when I got on the scale this morning, I was expecting to have gained about a half a pound. But I'm very happy to say that when I got on the scale this morning, I weighed exactly what I weighed last Thursday, 123.6. I cannot be happier. Yes, I would have liked to have lost just a little bit to get closer to that 123, but I'm not complaining. I'm very happy with what I weighed because I did know that I didn't stay true to the plan on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And so there was a possibility I was going to gain some more weight this week. And I didn't. Now, because of today and because I know I'm going to overeat, I will really have to buckle down at the first of next week. But I'm not going to do it today. I'm going to enjoy my birthday. I'm not going to worry about what I'm putting in my mouth. Not totally. I mean, I'm not going to go wild with it. But I'm not going to worry if I eat a chocolate chip cookie. I'm just not. So if you're not already subscribed to this channel, I wish you would consider subscribing to it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And one thing I really would like for you to do is leave a comment below if you have any questions about my journey so far. I should be able to answer whatever questions you have, but if I'm not, if I'm not able to answer it, I can point you to somebody that will. I have three ways you can contact me, either by comment below. You can email me at my email address at Outlook, and it's in the description box. Or you can send me some snail mail. Uh, whatever you feel comfortable with doing, I would really love to hear from you and hear your comments and your questions. Because you see, that's why I started this YouTube channel. I am not monetized. I have no plans on ever being monetized, but I do want to do three things. 
I want to send you encouragement and give you information. And the way that I do that is sharing my experience with you. I know there are many of you out there struggling. I know there's a lot out there that are maintaining now, but I do know there's still a lot of people out there just like I was, just like I was for 40 years struggling with their weight. And I really, if I could only help one person to get into a healthy weight range, it would be worth it all. All these videos that I've made, all this time that I've spent, it would be worth every minute of it if I thought I helped one person. So I hope you have a wonderful week. God bless each and every one of you. Goodbye.